Pittsburgh City Council wants to ban certain types of weapons. However, the Allegheny County District Attorney says they can't. Brenda Waters is live to explain where the council's proposal goes from here. Brenda. Hi, Susan. The DA says he totally understands council's desire for gun legislation, but he also adds what they are proposing is illegal. He has every right to his own opinion. We're still going to move forward. Councilman Corey O'Connor responding to Stephen Zappella when the DA said the city has no authority to pass proposed gun legislation. The state has to act on it. There is no local authority. The proposed legislation was announced outside council chambers December 14th and supported by the governor and the mayor. The city wants to ban assault rifles, accessories like bumps, and allow courts to temporarily prohibit anyone determined to be dangerous from possessing a gun. Well, right now you're talking about passing something that you don't have the statutory authority to do, but once you start arresting people, there are, there are constitutional implications of that, and there are civil rights implications of that. So I, you know, I think that uh, this could open up a Pandora's box. At this point, we're going to pass our bills. Uh, we're going to move forward with that, and then whatever happens after that, we'll find out. Kim Stolfer, an expert on firearms law, told me he's pretty certain what the city will find out. And they tried to ban firearms in 1993, 94. We had to sue them. They lost. There's a consent decree that says they can't do this. But O'Connor believes council cannot be sued. We have legislative immunity. Uh, our law department told us that. So we're not going to stop fighting against gun violence. Well, Stouffer goes on to say that uh, what the city should do now is admit that council made a mistake and then move on with something that can stop violence. O'Connor believes that this proposal will work, and the DA says he just wanted everyone to be informed. Reporting live downtown, Brenda Waters, KDKA News.